Hi everyone, this is the Maldita Serial channel vlog number two. My first vlog was on BitCon, and my second vlog will be about my review of LA Zine Fest 2014. And this event was held today, February 16th, at the Helms Bakery in LA, and it was pretty fun. It's the first time I've been to LA Zine Fest. My sister actually told me about it a few days ago. It was really, really cool. And first off, I'd like to say congratulations to the event organizers. You guys did a great, great job. There was a lot of people there. Um, there's a lot of things to do. Vendors, there were people, um, exhibitors with their artwork, their comics, their zines, everything. You know, I wasn't really too familiar with zines, but they're pretty cool. And I think they became really popular in the 90s. That's what I read about. They're really, really cool. Well, first off, we started our day walking around the different tables, and you just see how talented these people are. You know, there were people with uh, zines about anything you can think of. There were some um, about love, friendship, failures in life, being a bitch. <laughs> you know, there's all kinds of, of things there. And people expressing themselves. Like, it was just so fun to see that, you know, people expressing themselves through these zines and a lot of them were actually collaborative efforts um, there are a lot of independently produced independently published but some of them were like anthologies collections of stories poetry uh, writing and um let me show you guys a bit of what I got well what I saw there first off this caught my eye this is a new zine coming up and it's the from um, Keenan Marshall Keller and Tom Neely so this is pretty cool like the artwork you know, it, it really caught my eye because I really like Sons of Anarchy and, you know, I saw this and it reminded me of that and it just looks really cool. Okay, now the second thing, um, there was a table that had these little free zines right here and it's really cool because there's this one. Oh, I'm holding it upside down. But um, these are little zines that you can open up. They're really, really cool. Little tidbits. See, and this is basically what a zine is. You know, they have little... Things like that. This is like a little template, how to make your own zine. This one was really, really cute. It's um, Sasquatch, and the website is sasquatch.com. This one was really, really super, super cute, and I, w I was like, I have to have it. Um, funny drawing smudged with cheese dust, it says, and as you can see, he's eating cheese. Now, up next, I have these things that I got, and these were so cute. They're little... Um, greeting cards and look how cute that is this one was really super cute um i'm gonna give it to my best friend because it reminded me of him this is kate baruby and i apologize for the little chihuahua that's barking but yeah this is on um, kate baruby and um this is the artwork this one was what i really really was interested in these are from destination DIY.org. These are really informative, super informative. This one's how to make radio, uh, podcasting. This one's um, how to make radio, the first volume. And then this one's how to make it in radio. And as you guys might know, I do host um, two radio shows on Mid Valley Radio. So these are really going to help me a lot. And I thank you for having these zines out there for me, um, Destination DIY. So I'll put the link in the in the um, description. Why oh, these dogs? They don't stop. Well, anyway, this one's a freezing that we got. It was um, Razor Cake. It has like all kinds of cool stuff about bands, um, silent films. Just really, really awesome stuff. Seeing if you flip through this, there's a bunch of interesting things. But yeah, um, the LA Zine Fest. Only oh, those dogs. Shut up. But anyway. LA Zine Fest was a really cool, awesome event. I was really happy that I got to go with my co-worker and my sister. We were having a blast. You know, we never really went to that side of LA before. And that was the first time I had seen Helm's Bakery. I was all taking pictures. I saw the Culver Studios. Um, we walked around, ate at Chipotle. It was just really, really cool. So again, I this is my review of the LA Zine Fest. And I'm so happy that you guys did a great, great job. And I can't wait to go again next year.